In this video, I'll go through a very basic example to show how to use KCL and KVL to solve for different voltages uh, when you have a super node. So let's assume we have a circuit like this one here. So what you see here, you know, obviously when you have nodes, uh, then you would have to have a reference because especially with voltage always you're measuring from one point to another so you have to have a reference but the problem is if I look at node 1 and 2 they're connected through a source so 1 and 2 they're not connected to the reference if you take 1 for instance it's connected to the reference via uh, through this resistor node 2 through this resistor here but from node 1 to 2 they're connected through a source so we call that a super node where two nodes are connected uh, through a source. Uh, so we can use, so that's a super node. Then what I can do, I can apply, so this node here, so I can apply KCL. So I'm gonna show the direction of the currents that I'm gonna use. So, so I'm going to do KCL at super node, what I kind of showed with a dashed line. Super node. So then this current here is going away. I'm going to take away, going away from the node as positive. So that's three. So I got this one. Now I'm going to do this one, which is V plus uh, V1 divided by five. What if I want to write the entire thing? So it's three plus I one zero because current is going from one to this point here. So I call that I one zero. Then because this one here is just three amps, then I'm going to take the next one, which is I two zero plus I two zero plus I, this current here going into this direction, I to zero again, which is minus 14 because uh, current going in, I took as negative and going away from the node, I took as positive. So I got all the currents, so that's equal to zero. So then I can rearrange so three plus from Ohm's law, the current, this current here is just the voltage from here to here, which is V1 divided by the resistance. So that's five plus I2 zero, which is this current here, which is this voltage V2 minus V0, which is just V2 divided by four. So V2 divided by four minus 14 equals zero. Now, if I take this V1 minus V2, that voltage V1 minus V2 is equal to 10 ohms. So that means V1 is equal to V2 plus 10, 10 volts, I should say. So I have this equation here. So I can go back to this and plug that expression here, then I have everything in terms of V2. So basically what I would have is three, if I go back to this equation here, so three plus V1, which is just V2 plus 10 divided by five plus V2 divided by four minus 14 equal to zero. So if I solve for that, I will get V2 as 20 volts. Then if I go back to V1 is equal to V2 plus 10, so it's 20 plus 10. That means V1 equals to 30 volts. 
So that's how can I get get around the super node. In other words, when you have two nodes are connected through a voltage source, because you can't you do KCL around this voltage source. So, so you just treat that as a super node, then you write a KCL uh, around that super node, then use KVL and you kind of whatever you're solving for. Thank you.